Factorization of Quadratic Expressions To get the most out of this video, please watch the videos on factorization by HCF and factorization by grouping first. See description below. A quadratic expression is an expression that contains a square term as a term with the highest power. More specifically, for this lesson, I will deal with factorization of expressions that simplifies to a x squared plus bx plus c. That is, it has three terms, an x squared term, an x term, and one number, written in this order, whether the coefficient is negative or positive. Some examples, 2x squared plus 9x minus 5, 2y squared minus 11y plus 15, and 6x squared minus 13x minus 5. The trick in factorizing quadratic expressions is to understand how to split the middle term, the x term, into two to arrive at four terms that can factorize by grouping. We need to figure out what two numbers can add to give the coefficient of x, but multiply to give the product of the coefficient of x squared and the number. So in this case, we need to find out what two numbers add to give positive 9, but multiply to give 2 multiplied by negative 5, which is equal to negative 10. The fastest way I've found to do this is to list all the factors of negative 10 and then choose the correct pair from the list. So what are the factors of 10? Remember, negative multiplied by a positive gives a negative. Can 1 go into 10 exactly? Yes, 10 times. So both negative 1 and positive 10 and positive 1 and negative 10 would give negative 10. Can 2 go into 10 exactly? Yes, 5 times. So negative 2 and positive 5 and positive 2 and negative 5 are both pairs of factors. 3 and 4 are not factors of 10. 5 is already listed. So we have 4 options. Which of these 4 add to positive 9? You are right. The answer is negative 1 and positive 10. So we place positive 9x with negative 1x added to positive 10x. So now we have 2x squared minus x added to 10x minus 5 to factorize by grouping. What is the ACF of 2x squared added to negative x? The ACF is x. What do we multiply x by to get 2x squared? We multiply it by 2x. What do we multiply x by to get negative x? Negative 1. We keep the same thing in brackets, 2x minus 1. What do we multiply 2x by to get positive 10x? Positive 5. We confirm that positive 5 multiplied by negative 1 gives negative 5. It does. The ETF of x multiplied by 2x minus 1 and 5 multiplied by 2x minus 1 is 2x minus 1. I multiply 2x minus 1 by x to get 2x minus 1 by x. And I multiply 2x minus 1 by positive 5 to get positive 5 by 2x minus 1. Some examples. So we need to find what two numbers multiply to give positive 30, 2 multiplied by 15. So we list all the pairs of factors of positive 30 and then we'll select from the list. List of factors of positive 30. Remember that positive multiplied by positive will give a positive and a negative multiplied by negative will give a positive. So the list of factors of 30 are and 1 going to 30, yes, 30 times. So we have positive 1 and positive 30, negative 1 and negative 30. Can 2 go into 30? Yes, 15 times. So positive 2, positive 15, negative 2, negative 15. What about 3? Yes, 10 times. Positive 3, positive 10, negative 3, negative 10. 4 can go into 30, 5 can 6 times. Positive 5, positive 6, negative 5, negative 6. And we already have 6, so we have all the pairs of factors of 30 listed. Which pair of factors add up to give negative 11? Why? 31, negative 31, 17, negative 17, 13, negative 13. Positive 11, negative 11. So the last pair is the pair that we need. So we're going to replace negative 11y with negative 5y added to negative 6y. To get 2y squared 
minus 5y minus 6y plus 15. We make sure negative 5y added to negative 6y is the same as negative 11y it is. So now we're going to factorize by grouping. What is the HCF of 2y squared and 5y? It is y. What do I multiply y by to get 2y squared? I multiply by 2y. What do I multiply y by to get negative 5y? It's negative 5. Put the same thing in brackets on both sides. We have 2y minus 5. What do I multiply by 2y to get negative 6y? Negative 3. And negative 3 multiplied by negative 5 is positive 15. HCF is 2y minus 5. And I multiply by y and negative 3. A second example. 6x squared minus 13x minus 5. 6 multiplied by minus 5 is equal to negative 30. We need to find all the factors of negative 30. Remember that a positive multiplied by a negative is a negative, and a negative multiplied by a positive is a negative. What are the factors of 30? 1 and 30. So positive 1, negative 30, or negative 1 and positive 30. 2 could go into 30 15 times. We have positive 2, negative 15, and negative 2, positive 15. 3? Yes. Positive 3. By 10, negative 10, negative 3, positive 10. What about 4? 4 can't go into 30. 5, 5 can. Positive 5, negative 6, and negative 5, positive 6. Which pair of these factors add up to give negative 13? Negative 29, positive 29, negative 13. This is the pair that we're looking at. So we're going to replace negative 13x with positive 2x added to negative 15x to keep the expression the same. So we have 6x squared plus 2x minus 15x minus 5. HCF of 6x squared and 2x is 2x. 2x multiplied by 3x will get 6x squared. 2x multiplied by positive 1 will give 2x. Write back the same thing in brackets. 3x plus 1. 3x multiplied by what to give negative 15x? Negative 5. Negative 5 multiplied by positive 1 is negative 5. HCF, 3x plus 1. And we multiply by 2x and negative 5. A third example, 3 multiplied by negative 12 is equal to negative 36. What are the pair of factors to give negative 36? Can 1 go into 36? Yes, 36 times. Positive by negative gives a negative. So we have positive 1, negative 36. Negative 1, positive 36. Can 2 go into 36? Yes, 18 times. Positive 2, negative 18 negative 2, positive 18. What about 3? Yes, 3 could go into it 12 times. Positive 3, negative 12, negative 3, positive 12. What about 4? 4 could go into 36 9 times. Positive 4, negative 9, negative 4, positive 9. What about 5? 5 cannot go into 36. So what about 6? Yes, 6 multiplied by 6 is 36. So we have positive 6, negative 6, and negative 6, positive 6, which is exactly the same as this one. So we don't need to rewrite it. Which set of pairs add up to give you positive 5? Negative 35, positive 35. Negative 16, positive 16. Negative 9, positive 9. Negative 5, positive 5. So we're going to replace positive 5x with negative 4x added to positive 9x to get 3x squared added to negative 4x 
added to positive 9x minus 12. With the ECF of 3x squared and negative 4x, it is x. x multiplied by 3x will give 3x squared and x multiplied by minus 4. Keep the same thing in brackets. 3x minus 4. 3x multiplied by positive 3 will give positive 9x. Positive 3 by negative 4 is negative 12. And the ECF is 3x minus 4. We multiply that by x and positive 3 to get back the terms. A fourth example, 3x squared plus 10x minus 8. 3 multiplied by negative 8 is negative 24. Factors of 24, 1 and 24. Positive 1, negative 24. Negative 1, positive 24. 2 and 12, positive 2, negative 12. Negative 2, positive 12. 3, 3 and 8, positive 3, negative 8, negative 3, positive 8. 4 and 6, positive 4, negative 6, negative 4, positive 6. Which numbers add up to give positive 10? Negative 23, positive 23. Negative 10, positive 10. So we're going to replace positive 10x with negative 2x added to 12x. 3x squared added to negative 2x added to 12x added to negative 8. The ECF is x multiplied by 3x multiplied by negative 2. 3x negative 2. What do you multiply 3x by to get 12x? You multiply positive 4. Positive 4 multiplied by negative 2 is negative 8. It's f 3x minus 2. And you multiply this by x. And you multiply this by positive 4. 3x minus 2 multiplied by x plus 4. And a fifth and final example. 2y squared minus 5y plus 2. 2 multiplied by 2 is equal to 4. Positive 4. Pairs of factors are 1 and 4. Positive 1. Positive 4. Remember, negative by negative is also a positive. So you have negative 1. Negative 4. 2. Yes, 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. So you have positive 2 by positive 2. And negative 2 by negative 2. We are now going to see which pair of numbers add to give negative 5. Positive 1, positive 4 is positive 5, negative 5. So negative 1, negative 4. So to get 2y squared minus y minus 4y plus 2. The ACF of 2y squared and negative y is equal to y. y multiplied by 2y will give 2y squared and y multiplied by negative 1 will give negative y. Putting the same thing in brackets, 2y minus 1. 2y multiplied by negative 2 will give negative 4y. And negative 2 multiplied by negative 1 will give positive 2. And the HCF, 2y minus 1. Multiply by y. And you multiply by negative 2. So that's it. Five examples of factorization of quadratic expressions. That is it for this video. I am Mr. Dubey. If you found this video helpful, if you appreciate what I am trying to do on this channel, please like this video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Join me in the next video.